Hello and welcome, dear subscribers and non-subscribers. The challenge for today, let's see how fast I can make this intro. We, Dysylvania, Romania, Geeks, Vampire English, Episode 24, Dream, Tale of Immortality. What happened last time? Book a reflection right here. I button. Uh, I am Carla, excited. Let's welcome players. Bogdan, Karina, Rooks, Paul. Yay! Let's jump episode! <laughs> off with Kate feeling stranded and um, as she discovered the basin of uh, Lunai inside this castle inside one of the rooms um, she felt like a pair of eyes were watching her she turned around and she's seen herself crouched distraught disheveled hugging her, her knees, and rocking gently um, with, a, with a lost gaze she started muttering I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone What do you think, Kate? I paused I... Lower my guard just a bit. I try to uh, sheath my my daggers, and I just stare for a moment. Not really sure if what I'm seeing is, is actually real or is another trick played by this castle. Because I'm skeptical of absolutely everything I see. I ask the most obvious question. <laughs> Who are you? As you start um, saying these words, something dawns on you. The Kate you're sitting is all alone, left by friends, society, parents at birth, betrayed by her best friend. It's the same feeling that you you harbor inside your heart, and. As you start saying those words, you you stop believing them, you stop speaking them, and you give me a wisdom saving throw as you start becoming frightened that you might be all alone. That's oh not you say. <laughs> it's an 18. <clears throat> you take a deep breath, you shake it off. Uh, Something tugs at you, it's hope. Even though you didn't have the most uh, attentive uh, friends today, they're here in the castle. But you start shaking, going towards this, this thing and say... It's, it's not all true, you know? You don't, just because you feel alone, doesn't mean you have to be alone. Because you're not. Only if you choose to. The the figure in front of you starts shaking, rocking even harder, and says, No one is here for you. No one is here for me. You're all alone, Kate. I'm all alone, Kate. We're all alone. Give me another wisdom saving throw. It's eleven. And this time you fail, starting to believe it, and you're now frightened. You have the frightened condition, and you have disadvantage on ability uh, checks, attacks, and you can't move closer to the target. That is 
Yourself. Yourself and behind you, towards the door. In the meantime, as Kate is frightened, in the banquet hallways, uh, the tensions are rising as we left off. Wit, uh, I'm going to just turn on the battle camera. We don't have necessarily a battle, but uh, let's see how it goes. It's so good that we use so many resources to do an operation that too uh, did work. Oh, at least I didn't die. Yes. I count that as a win. It yes. is a success. Um, we left off with uh, Lysander uh, and uh, Jen not uh, willing to move out of the room in a clench with uh, the, the vampire guest, with uh, Baron Hollow and, uh, and the Count, Maverick Thorn. Um, near them, there's also uh, um, our lady Riddler, Seraphine, and at the tables there are uh, Jen's grandparents. Uh, the tensions were rising, and I'm going to ask you guys again to give me initiatives. Come on, don't be shy. Natural 20. Okay, we have Lysander with a 20. 20 for a total of 22. 22. Okay, uh, 22 for 15. 16. Okay. We have Jen. Uh, 15 I'm not to, here. Yeah. No. no. 15. How about uh, Leo? How um, much is your initiative? It's a total of 11. I have plus 4 initiative. Whoa. Is it total of 11? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is it total of 11? 11. So, um, one, like nine. the first one who reacts in this palpable tension is Lysander. What do you do? I uh, quickly. Um, I just go again. Come on, marry me, and then I um, I go and flank. Um, to whom will you say, "Come on, marry me"? Uh, to to Jen. Okay. Yeah, okay. Of course. Okay. Of course. Come on, come on, just do come it. Come on, marry me. Look See at the me. face. Look at the pod. <laughs> uh, but 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 before we do that, I have a shout out to Fantasy Forge who did this three uh, D wonderful printed mini of Lysander. You can see oh, it in the yeah. rotation oh, thank you, table. Fantasy Forge. Uh, check them at uh, fantasyforge.ro. On it's a website. I bet you didn't expect it to be called like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, link in description. Go. Uh, and then I uh, I run around and I uh, I uh, I flank uh, I flank the the asshole. Uh, I believe that is that the asshole. Which of the assholes? One is the Baron Hollow with his. <sighs> Oh yeah, uh, she. Really she heavily it, after. That's the one that Jen started pounding on. Both right? of them are a little bit pounded. Are a little bit pounded. Yes. But uh, yeah. But the... he's the most pounded. Okay. No, Maverick is the most pounded, and he's goated as well. The other one, the other asshole, uh, who's the... the stocky one with a scar on his face, with a booming voice. Ha ha! Let's go into battle. Oh, I really <laughs> want to ride him. Um, <laughs> as a <the> fourth. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, I, uh, I quickly go like this, uh, I run around, um, and, uh, um, with, uh, with advantage I attack him. Jesus. Okay, for a total of... 10. Okay. Uh, you missed, uh, obviously. You uh, try to, like, I don't know, impale him in the, I don't know, arm, and he twists so fast you think you blinked, and your uh, sword or your rapier st stays suspended <coughs> in midair. Uh, <coughs> I think big balls, Lysander, big balls, and I attack again. This time for a total of 21. Okay, for a total of 21, you hit Count Maverick. And now I shall also smite. Okay. While I say you boast of courage, guts, and brawls, but all I see are tiny balls. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Uh, okay. Uh, six, nine, uh, seven, sixteen, and seventeen points of radiant damage. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, as you start pumping, you hit him in um, above the collarbone. It's a weak spot. Uh, as you you see skin, you impale him a little bit. Draws blood. This like uh, dark red thick blood and you sort of send your energy how does your energy look like my energy looks like um uh dancing um penises <laughs> of light of light and fire light and fire yes uh you see dancing penises of light and fire just <laughs> <laughs> uh, crippling on the rapier, um, intruding in his skin, and he um, and uh, uh, makes this oh sound for a second and says, Oh, you naughty, naughty boy! Um, like Jen, <laughs> is, is this your round? Yes, yes. Jen with the vamps on deck. <laughs> um, I make an obvious frown, glaring at Lysander and saying, Tu es fou, hein? This is not a proper way to propose. I'm never gonna marry you and get whatever age you have, uh, I don't know. And I try to make a huge swing with my hammer and bust another kneecap uh, of the Baron's. Uh, she is Jan the kneecap. As you bounce his kneecap, uh, how much did you roll for? 25. 25 definitely hits. You, he's goaded. I don't know if that gives you any advantage. The other one is goaded. Maverick. Uh, uh, so you hit the Baron, right? Now I hit the Baron, cool. and I have also Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. Hi, Which would give me a total of 12. Okay. Bludgeoning. Okay. And okay. I hit again. <laughs> I try to bust the other kneecap for a total of 18. If you want to... Wanna bust a kneecap and have an advantage from this, you have to roll me with disadvantage because it's, it's a precise target. So I, I You roll know. again, you pick the lower number, and if you... So 18 for the first hit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It hits, okay. The one that I just said, and... Now... The second one for the kneecap. Two ones! Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god. You, oh my god. you wanna Another like, snake you eye. hit him with your uh, sword. Hammer. With your hammer. Uh, in the shoulder. My schnitzel hammer. Your schnitzel <laughs> hammer in the in the in the shoulder. His skin looks tattered, like it's been beaten with a schnitzel hammer. Um, oh, look at all those squares. Uh, <laughs> this makes makes you a little bit hungry. Mm, and you you bust his shoulder, uh, shoulder, but um, then if you you go in the second swing towards the kneecaps, and he moves so fast and swift. Again, they sort of change places, the Baron, Victor, and um, and the Count, very fast. You, you think you blinked, or maybe it's this castle, it's, it's, it's playing mind games on you. You're not very sure. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to okay. glare again at Lysander and say, Khan, you fool. Never. Not without you. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> so dramatic. Um, you have now, no idea. Now is the vamps. We start with uh, <laughs> Jen's grandmother that we have here. It looks like Jen, but sort of older. Um, and in the future, <laughs> so many Not gray better. hairs, honey. Oh, no. mm. uh, she, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, she turns and says, uh, um, now, granddaughter, please, just like, let's sit and negotiate this. I don't want to raise from this table. Don't make me raise from this table. Uh, your uh, grandfather nods accordingly. Uh, but the Baron and the Count are out for blood. Uh, they try to hit back. Uh, first, uh, the Baron. And... Um, he will use a predatory gaze as he flashes light in front of your um, your eyes, Jen. Um, you have to make me a wisdom saving throw. Bananas. Uh, no, that's his expertise. Thirteen. You fail as you glimpse through his eyes and you see terror and horror that shrivels through your whole body, through your spine. And um, 
Okay. And uh, you are frightened. Again, you don't have... You have disadvantage, <laughs> ability, saves, and... Um, I think attacks. Uh, ability checks, attack rolls, just ability checks and attack rolls, and can't move closer to the target. Who frightened me? The Baron. The Baron. No the Baron. I got this. Um, <laughs> so Maverick has one knee, knee bust, and Baron has zero, correct? Yes. Okay. From the previous one. And now he's trying to attack you with, with a claw, uh, and he has advantage because you're frightened. Uh, it's a total of 23. Does it hit? Of course it hits. <laughs> um, cool. This is the one knee guy, right? Uh, it's the other one. It's the Baron. It's the, the one mask one. With the, with the two knees. No, no. With the two, two working knees. knees. With two, the one two. working knee. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And with a bit of spit in his forehead, you know, Hunter's mark from Jet. Wait, who had the flashing lights? Count Maverick? Uh, no, the Baron. The Baron. Oh. So you have everybody. a 13. He, that's his job. So don't take away None. his breath. 17 bludgeoning. Oh my. Stop hitting a lady. That's why I'm um, That's his job. Yeah. <laughs> this um, is all you can do. No, uh, and he says, don't make me do even worse. This is just foreplay. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, everyone is trying to fuck me. I know. <laughs> uh, he's also divorced, uh, if you guys remember from hey, that. Yeah, actually. Um, <laughs> I can this, understand this why. This is supposed to be horror, guys. Okay, fine. <laughs> horror, horror, horror. horror. <laughs> horror. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined this book. <laughs> I will kill with your the, character. With the light penises and the balls jokes. Definitely. But now, uh, Count Maverick Thorn, uh, Throne, sorry, um, that has a goaded attack, will unleash his attack upon you. He's gonna do a jolly roar. Let's everyone concentrate, please! Let's eat this prey! And uh, everybody of their um, alliances gets a 1d6 to the next attack. Um, then as a second, uh, a second action, he will move towards you. Who's you? You, Jen. He nah. gets... I don't think he gets opportunity to attack from uh, the <coughs> He moves swiftly here and now he charges and tries to hit you 20 20 dirty 20. it meets it beats uh yeah. yes it meets it beats and well, un unfortunately I'm beaten. unfortunately but af as he moves forward and launches his rapier with his booming jolly voice ha -ha! and touches you through similar to what Lysander said, but uh, more uh, elegant without the penises. It's sort of a discharge of uh, of, uh, of a sonic and thunder <laughs> going through uh, through the wound that he made, and you take an initial uh, twelve uh, um, slashing. Uh, piercing, sorry, 12 pair piercing, and then an extra uh, 9 thunder damage. So, total of 19? Yes, I believe so. Well, well, well. How are you looking? <laughs> I'm looking decent. You're looking decent? <laughs> it's, really. um, I'm looking bloody. Oh. And now, the <coughs> last one, Seraphine, will come, get near you, and she's gonna try to shove you and push you. You have to make your strength uh, save. With disadvantage. This one was cocked. Yeah, it was two sixes plus a seven, it's a 13. Unfortunately, you fail. <coughs> the threshold was 14. Uh, like you, you, you think you resist. You, you pluck your heels and in, in the ground, and she rushes so fast for such a tiny, frail creature with utmost uh, beauty. And her piercing blue eyes sort of frighten you and take you by surprise as she pushes you, and you lunge in the other side oh. of the room. 
this way when you're being force dragged one up to 120 feet you get there and she whispers in your ear something hey. answer me this who stands with hair of fiery red with sharpened teeth and no dread they seek my aid to shift and plan and change the order of this clan. C'est moi? <laughs> Nods very, uh, very swiftly. And this is but a whisper. You have to give me, um, um, what's it called? Um, slight of hand. Not slight of hand. Uh, stealth. Sorry, <laughs> I had the moment. <laughs> Someone has disadvantage on stealth and disadvantage from threatening, so... What are you still like? 15, still. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. I know. That's amazing. Someone give me a perception for Eleonore with a plus 7. Someone who rolls badly, ideally. Tall. <laughs> 6. So plus 7, it's a? 13. 13. 13 and you had 14? No, I had 6. 15. 15. Oh, perfect! You're she wonderful. doesn't hear. <laughs> uh, so you glance at her for a second, and she doesn't like. She doesn't blink, or she doesn't frown. She doesn't have any gestures. As we resume to the battle, this uh, concludes uh, the vamp's turn. However, there's one missing. You can't see it. Uh, there's one more <coughs> elf um, that's a dazed near Leo, just so so you know. And the others are eaten next to the next to the table, the long table. Uh, what do you do, Leo? So um, yes, uh, Leo was looking down the hallway, uh, thinking that uh, he should go find Kate. But after seeing that uh, Jen was literally dragged halfway uh, into the room, not knowing what happened, she's frightened. Uh, he will, he only has the uses of his stuff drained, very annoyed. He will uh, run in this direction, uh, I think that's 10 feet, misty step to here, that's one use, then run the rest here close. And because I, I am, because the DM is gracious, uh, um, as he's running, he takes his uh, violin and says, By melody's grace, I weave the sound to break the chains where fear is bound. With voice of hope, dispel despair, let courage rise, the minds repair. And he starts singing, and as he's singing, a, a phantom of the violin starts floating in front of him, and a wave of soothing, calming music radiates around you and you are no longer frightened, and you are immune to being frightened. Thank you. Oh, that's amazing. Um, and then he just stands there ready. That's my turn. I used all the day I have left. Okay, uh, this is Leo, and we're gonna go top of the round. But before we go top, top of the round, the little daddy, uh, we go back to Kate. Oh no. So it's gonna be like this. <laughs> Uh, Kate, you stand frightened on the other side of the room of yourself. What do you do? So I was pushed back to the other side of the room. You're not pushed or, back. Uh, You're just sitting in place. Okay. In between the... Um, yeah, between the, the, pool. The, the pool. The basin. The basin, yeah. the basin that's empty right and, now. And myself. And okay. yourself. You can give me a nature to see if you know what this is. Uh, it's just an 11. So I'm gonna consider okay, myself... This, with an 11, you know that this is a creature you've never heard about, but you sort of see at the edges of it this mist, this shadow. You think that might be one of the shadowy creatures made by Obscuro. Seems something and in density and in, 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 uh, energies that it's something made by Obscuro. What do you do? Uh, I 
uh, pull myself. I try to pull myself together, but my uh, my body is trembling, and I try to to ask it. Why are you here? Alone, 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 and this fear creeps you and creeps inside your soul and sort of paralyzes you. What do you do? I, I, I try to push past it, yes, but you're not alone. I'm here. I'm. Give me a wisdom as you try to wisdom save as you try to push past it. Oh. And as you feel desperation and 18, 18. fear and anxiety, anxiety with an eighteen, you think the only moments you you've dragged yourself from this sort of pit of of fear and anxiety and and despair is when you you loved is when you laughed is when you laughter laughter might be a good idea and you you start thinking of, of stuff to to laugh about what do you do I <laughs> <laughs> um i start moving closer uh can i can i move closer if i uh, pass uh, my check uh yes but before you move closer give me an idea what you're gonna do to um jolly the mood <laughs> i'm gonna um, Start uh, telling funny stories, uh, like when I went on a date with Blaze, and how I, uh, when I kissed him on the cheek, he flared up, and uh, he destroyed the flowers he was holding. <laughs> so immediately, as as you think this, uh, there's a, a, a there's Blaze appearing in your uh, visage in, in front of you. Um, in front of the, the other sad Kate and he's holding flowers and he blushes and he burns <laughs> the flowers and you sort of start giggling and you move forward. Um, give me another wisdom saving throw with advantage. Advantage, oh, that's what you laugh and then you start crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's basically what I'm doing. Oh, no. Do you miss your mom? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, it's a uh, 10. Uh, but uh, um, as you move closer and... Uh, um, he starts like flushing up and the flowers burn you start feeling dragged again in the pit of despair thinking blaze you don't know what your relationship is uh is he, is does he really care about you or is was it just a fling do you have anyone to care about you and we're gonna go back to the battle uh <clears throat> so lysander what do you do i uh that's how he is is the 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 the, the busted bolt bu busted kneecapped guy that that's the one in front of me, right? The Baron. Uh, is is not the hunter mark? Is Maverick, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, the this is Maverick. This is the Baron. Mm -hmm. So uh, do I? Uh, because of his busted kneecaps, nothing. Uh... He he can't run as as fast as he would. <laughs> oh, so he just has bad knees, basically. Uh, so uh, his affliction is old. Okay, um, I'll. Uh... This says something to a vampire. <laughs> <sighs> I'll do. I'll do the uh, vow of enmity. Uh, so th that that gives me advantage against uh, a specific enemy, right? I believe so. Let me check. What the heck? Uh, but describe me how you cast it. I just point my sword towards him and I say, "Sir, you disappoint me." Wow. With your small dick energy. Wow. <laughs> no, so you gain bro. advantage on attack rolls against the creature for one minute until it drops to H zero HP points. So it's targeted on uh, this guy on count, right? Yes. And the vow of anonymity. Cool. So I attack with advantage. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's two twenties. Uh, ten total of ten of the first attack. You and miss, and as he uh, sort of ha ha, <laughs> shrugs it off with a jolly roar. God damn you! It's actually big, big energy. And the second one is a sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. 
Um, Does it hit? Definitely not. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! So you you do this and you try oh, to it hit was him. Anyways. You 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 strive to hit him, but in your backpack, I'm gonna give you this. You start feeling something sh uh, shuffling. You can give me an animal handling uh, or a persuasion. Hard darkness persuasion. Make him eat his armor. Uh, Make 25. him eat his face. Uh, okay. Uh, to Twenty three. A 23. Wow. This, this small, I don't have a black cat. This small black cat yeah. just leaps poop <laughs> in front uh, and proclaims, I am darkness! <laughs> uh, as, uh, it starts moving <laughs> towards the, with like tiny, <laughs> towards the, the Baron and Count, no, sorry, towards Count uh, Thorn. And he um, will try to. Uh, use one of his skills uh, for a second. He opens its mouth and uh, sort of vomits a long, tangly rope with bells on it <laughs> and starts wrapping um, around the the uh, um, count. the okay. count, around the vampire that's in front of me, around the count, as he says, "No, what is this, uh, Barnibus?" He says this, Barnibus, and then. Um, you will make the roll, and you have advantage. You will roll me an attack with your uh, spellcasting ability. Uh, with advantage? Yes. Natural 20. Wow! Okay, definitely. Yeah. So nice. for a natural 20, I'm not gonna even roll if he resists or not. <coughs> this sort of ties around him and strains, and now he can't move. And every uh, action that he does, you're gonna be able to do a reaction against it because the bell will will alert you. Wow, wow. nice. Um, oh my God. Good go darkness. I am Woo! the best. <laughs> <laughs> best girl. Uh, cool. This end your turn. Oh, I love no. it. I love it. Hey, what is this? Uh, is a familiar? Uh, I make a serious frown and I stare the lady in front of me in the eyes. And I push her aside and say, everyone stop. Please finish this encounter. There's no need for it no more. I know where my loyalty stands and I start moving towards my grandmother, slowly, but steadily. Do you use your full movement? Yes. And you dash? Okay. Mechanically, you dash. But uh, narrative wise, you move slowly. Grammaire, I have decided I will join you. But first, I must do one thing Marry me! No. God damn it. Yes, granddaughter, I, I thought you would do so. 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 What do you want to do? You want to give me my gift now? No. Something that doesn't have to do with you. And I, I don't understand what you and mean. And I glance towards Leo. Maybe we can go somewhere more private? Oh, you want to do the special. I don't want to do no special. <laughs> Again, I don't understand what you're doing. I start walking somewhere where there's not a lot of people, maybe on a corridor or something. So you try to exit the banquet hallway. Uh, maybe I try to go. Can I get a pointer, please? Maybe I try to go somewhere in that direction. Okay. Yes. Yes. Do any of you want to, uh, before this happens, want to continue the combat and, and do something? I want to pound that motherfucker. Oh my god. How? Get out of my sword. So we're, not <laughs> out, so, <laughs> we're, so we're not out of the initiatives. You stay here and when this... We will resume this when it comes to your turn. Uh, okay. So many stuff happening. Oh my god. Now is the vamps. Give me a persuasion or the deception, depending on what your. Uh, you don't have to tell me which is which, to see what what they are doing. Eight. 
Eleven. Uh, cool. Write me on WhatsApp what's your intention and I'm gonna ro- roll insights for people. Oh my god, how poorly! 10, 1, 10, 14. So. Okay. I need another round to know what her intentions are because I without help. Okay. Um, cool. So, for the moment, Henry and Eleanor, your grandparents, just stay put again, watching a bit distraught. They don't understand what's happening. Then the next uh, Count, the Count Maverick, surrender its swords um, and place them on the ground. Places them on the ground. The Baron doesn't back off. And Seraphim just sits in that corner. This is what happens on the round. Uh, the elf is still in front of the um, door, mesmerized. What, what, what what's happening? Leo, what's what's your plan? Um, he looks uh, around and sees uh, Jen. Uh, he understands that the vampires are a little bit conflicted. Right, like some lower their guards, some are still. And he looks around and says, What kind of coven is this? Great uh, grandmother, are they not listening to you? Put your arms down. Persuasion or intimidation? <laughs> much. You didn't even have to say anything. <laughs> That's a two plus nine. That's eleven. <laughs> so what do you say with this eleven? What's the output? <laughs> As he says that at the last voice. Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> and his voice just cracks. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, and as Leo says this, um, um, the one who didn't surrender, uh, the, the, the Baron, just, ha ha, <laughs> boy, uh, starts um, laughing at you. Top of the round, Lysander, Lysander. Don't worry, Jen, I'll defeat these assholes for you! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I uh, attack him. Which one? The uh, count. The count. The, the count or the baron? The count. Uh, the count is now tied. Yeah. But sort of uh, surrender his swords. Oh, okay. The other one, though. Yeah. Take the baron. Yes, I will take the baron. And I'll uh, uh, attack normally, right? Show Jen how worthy you are of being her. Man. As I think about this, a slight tingle goes to my bone. I thought you were going in a different oh, direction. Uh, it first... might be that direction. <laughs> so. The first one was oh a 12, and the second one is an 18. Okay, with an 18, you hit. Yes! And I shall smite thee again, and because he's an undead, I get an extra 1d8. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Because he's an obscurite creature, you get an extra. Four. There are eight. Eight. <laughs> yeah. Thirteen. Okay. Four. Twenty-four points of radiant damage, and this time it, excellent. It's um, um, f- flocks of uh, red hair. Oh, wow. oh, like flocks of red hair electrically <laughs> sort of pump into into the Baron as he um, well, it says, <gasps> "You bastard!" Um, cool. This is your round. Do you want to do something else? No. Uh, Barney Bus, uh, Barney Bus. Sorry, uh, darkness will start. Uh, uh, climb inside inside of uh, your uh, backpack. Oh no. I uh, allow it. Him. Keep okay. most of your items though. Yep. <laughs> yeah. uh, and now give me a one D100. Oh no. Um. Oh. 80. Okay. Are you here? 
and someone is I don't know probably darkness sits in your backpack. Okay. Question: Is he just wearing just my cloak and his armor? Yes. Yes. I I still only have a <laughs> handkerchief that, around uh, uh, his genitals and cloak, and every time he's attack. <laughs> oh my uh, god. He's god. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Horror story. <laughs> I don't understand how I can. Uh, cool. It goes great with your character, though. I mean, <laughs> it's excellent. Excellent. Uh, Leo. No. Excellent. And now it's Jen. <laughs> Double weapon. Uh, I still. I go in that direction. Okay. With the sense of purpose, trying to find a, you know, a more private. There's order. a coffin here, there's a door no, here, a door here. here. Coffin. <laughs> Fantastic. Take me ne- next to the coffin. You go inside. And, and, and just as I pass, not not the, inside the coffin, next to the coffin, but just as I pass this corner, I glance back, back, through my hair, towards Leo and say, are you coming? <laughs> and I continue my movement. Okay. Uh, and I kind of whisper, Khmer, if you want, you can come as well. Persuasion. Um. <laughs> Eleven. I have no fear. Eleven. Um, Grandma and she says, sure, I don't understand, <laughs> but I'm coming. I rolled a ten. Wow. Uh, cool. Neo. I'm coming. <laughs> Uh, the ad, uh, before Leo is the other vampires. Uh, the only one who isn't capitulated yet is the Baron. He uh, tries to lunge to uh, to for another attack with his predatory gaze. Give me a wisdom saving throw. I uh, I still have um, protection from evil and good, so I can't be frightened. Excellent. So he tries to uh, flare you with this voids of of, of, of um, fiery eyes, and you feel nothing. And I just go blah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he frowns and he he will try to attack you with disadvantage. <laughs> with disadvantage. Yeah, that was me. And a, wow, it's a it's an eleven. <laughs> wow, it does not hit. Uh, as uh, he tries to do one last attempt, last attempt, he tries to claw at you and then sort of, uh, I'm gonna deal with you later. Um, I'm gonna finish you off later. Oh! Your grandmother says, sure, I don't understand why, what's happening. I'm... This is the first time I see her confused. Yeah. But uh, sure, is this, if it, this, it's a king or if you want to make him a vampire now, I... I... It moves very fast next to you. His grandfather uh, coming too. Oh my, I, I cannot do it like I You have. want him to come as well? Hey, is everyone <laughs> coming <laughs> but me? Um, <laughs> the pants, I cannot. I need to go to the <laughs> persuasion for him as well. If you feel something strange, remember somebody's ten. invisible. You have to ten. I wrote the three. Ten. She says, no, let your grandfather deal with dinner or cleaning or whatever. Um, and she moves there. And uh, um, as Leo is going, look at the grandfather said, I do not know what's going on. Uh, can you uh, join me as well? I don't know. I would feel much more safe knowing there's another male around. I don't know what's happening. Perdition. <sighs> male. <laughs> I don't want to roll anymore. <laughs> Is natural 20? It's a 2 again. <laughs> I want a 2 as well! <laughs> he, he doesn't look interested at all. He just uh, uh, turns around and starts eating the remaining 2 elves. Then I go towards the... Light. Makes it that thing did not work. Okay. I have to remind myself that I do not feel fear. So you move there. <laughs> I move there, yeah. And I suppose it's my action to try to persuade him, but I, that's what I do. What do you do? Uh, top of the round, Lysander. Uh, I jump from one foot f- uh, to the other, the handkerchief slightly... Uh, Popping. Uh, uh, yes, in, in, in the wind. <laughs> um, and I attack the Baron again. I shall not back off for Jen, my love for tonight. 
Wow. The first oh, one is wow. a 12. Misses. Uh, and the second one is an 11. He moves as he surrendered and he's with the back at you. He moves, like, as he tried to attack, he sort of shifts slightly to the left, slightly to the right, and she said, Are you quite finished? Not yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> oh my oh. god! Uh, Jen. Um, uh, I wait for them to get next to me. Oh, uh, Leo and uh, your grandmother are next to you. Okay. <sighs> I take a deep breath and I'm visibly trembling. A bit anxious. Leo, there is something I need to say. Something that has been in my heart for some time now. We live in this full world now, crazy, dangerous, filled with things that most people won't understand. And now with my grandmother pulling us into this hot mess, I realize something, that I don't want to go through this without you. And I slowly drop to one knee steadily and say, you are my best friend and someone I can trust even with my life. And friendship is the foundation of love, isn't it? Huh? You're just confused, Jen. <laughs> Shush. And I know, I know from some time now that deep inside my soul, you have always been the one, the one I want to spend my eternity with. And I pause a bit and I outstretch an empty hand <laughs> and I say Mary Emilio let's face this chaotic darkness and dangerous world together together let's face immortality together this is not Leo's face <laughs> um, <laughs> um Jen I don't have a ring. You know what's the craziest thing? Huh? You had your engagement ring all along on yourself. You remember I uh, gave you something, a little sphere. Can I have it, please? Uh, you hear your grandma? Oh, this is so beautiful. Takes me eons ago. <laughs> Too bad Grandpère will miss it, huh? Henry, come, come here, Let's see the engagement. <laughs> the engagement, have yeah, fun, come. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. He will move. Uh, do you continue with the battle? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I'm really angry now. Oh yeah, he has advantage now. <laughs> uh, oh, as, uh, can you read? <laughs> as uh, he uh, says, May we, of course, uh, my uh, my love. I'm I'm gonna be there in a second. Uh, you get your turn, Ly Lysander. Um, friends to lovers never ends well. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a natural uh, twenty oh. and a six and an eighteen. Uh, to hit the Baron, right? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, he has a AC of seventeen, so you hit. Both of them. Okay, yeah. so the first one, the 18, is a uh, six points of damage. And the second one, with the natural 20, uh, will be uh, my last smite. Okay. Six, I don't have the 20. Seven, 15, 16. 24 points of damage. Well, crit, crits are not doubled here, right? Uh, yes, they definitely. are. Yes, they are. Hey. Yes, they are. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you roll, 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 roll them twice, basically. You roll them twice. Yeah. Uh, re, uh, roll the same damage twice. So uh, I don't I just double it? Uh, okay. If it's easier for you, but uh, I don't necessarily believe in that rule, because if you roll a one, you double a one, and it's a two. What's the likeliness of rolling twice one? Well, Double it, it's fine. <laughs> okay, it's 48 oh, points of radiant damage. Okay, uh, so strong. 
So you reach above 100 and he in total the damage on the Baron in total um, as you uh, uh, touch him with the rapier and then smite it with an energy that looks like uh, this time it's fangs okay so you you see fangs with the fangs going and biting down the rapier and into his his body as he he turns and says as you pump to to rapiers and the energy inside this will never work and falls to the ground <laughs> nobody knows what the bards shall do uh, and as he falls to the ground this sort sort of like shadowy mists form and he this mist is dragged somewhere uh, on the corridors and he disappears well this is not gonna help you marry jen oh no you're killing like the coven <sighs> Um, can we stop the fighting? Says uh, the grandmother. And as uh, it's it's, come, it's, come. it's uh, Jen's turn, um, and the other vamps, uh, Henry is going here as well. It's coming here as well. What do you guys do? Um, I'm on one knee, waiting for an answer in the globe. Leo, understand what you are referring to goes and takes the golden sphere that you gave him. I palm it. Um, as I uh, give it to her and I, um, our hands intertwine, uh, touch a little bit, I look at her and a slight magical tinge happens and I give you my last bardic inspiration. Thank you. That's a D8 or a <laughs> D8 and says, you know, if I could show emotion, I would be quite shocked right now. Is that your final answer? You're just shocked? And I stand up, <laughs> dusting myself a bit. Can I have... Fine. Shock it is. And I shove myself into grandma and try to push her into the coffin. What? <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, give me a push, uh, strength, again, strength, save, strength save or just strength? Uh, your strength, uh, against her strength save, it's contested strength. Fuck me. Can I use the bardic he inspiration? Tried. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Somebody tried to do it tonight. Uh, so as you try to shove... Uh, Eleonor, who has a total strength of... I rolled 13 with the body inspiration. I rolled the 22. Can I uh, use my last use of silver for silver? Silvery bars? Silvery bars on that. Definitely. Do you guys? I'm gonna roll in the in front because it's important. Um, so say. let's see. It's a 3. And uh, I say, it's yes, a it's plus, a yes! It's a 3 plus a 7. <laughs> it's a 10, though. But uh, as as she resists, you try to shove her, and she resists with her mighty strength. Uh, he starts saying, it's a yes, it's a yes, and sort of time <laughs> slips back, and she slips, and you're, you're pushing her inside of the coffin. Uh, let's assume she goes in. I take this golden globe that starts humming, and I say, uh, I say, capture, and it seals. Oh, is the sphere from uh, episode three? The yes, it's the sphere. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you're sealing your charged. grandmother yes, again. Yes, it's charged. Uh, I've charged it. Okay, oh so basically, how many god. charges it has? All of them? All, All six? Them. Yeah. Oh my god! Um, uh, yeah. cool, so cool. So you shove your grandma inside as Leo says, it's a yes, it's, it's a, a yes. It's a sun glow. Uh, he, she says, oh, congratulations, what are you doing? <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> and with the globe, you sort of seal her inside and this like a translucent golden, um, mirror manifests in front of her and she hisses <laughs> and tries to, to lunge forward and she's stopped by the, 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 the seal. Nothing can go from inside outside, from inside the coffin outside, but something can, can go inside. 
Henry, let me out now! Eat her, devour her, devour her friends! The sound come out of the barrier. I put the lid of the coffin on top. And with that, uh, Henry uh, will... I think Leo is next on initiative, and then... So we stopped at the vamps. Leo, Lysander, Jen, and vamps. What do you do, Leo? Uh, uh, Leo, well, uh, does Henry have any reaction? Like, does he move? Uh, yes, yeah, he, he's, 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 he's trying to move, gets his sword, gets his, his claws out. Uh, he looks like he's, he's gonna commit murder. Oh my god. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Did, did the sun seal thingy, we could put stuff from one side inside, but not from... Yes. I'll try to shove my grandfather as well before I put them. But you know, since you used it before, your hand went inside and you could move it. Like, everything that's sealed has to be inside. Okay. As you know, this... Uh, um, of, um, uh, Leo will, because he's so strong, he will try to grapple uh, the uncle. The uncle. My... <laughs> Father-in-law. Um, I, uh, he will try to hold the uh, grand. Yeah. Grapple, grapple attack, strength. This is the time I run natural twenty for chocolate. Nope. I rolled a six though. <laughs> yeah, I rolled. Uh, it's athletics, right? It's lower. Uh, yes. How much you roll? A six. A six. This one. I rolled the five plus one. Uh, that's a six. It, it's contested, so no outcome is uh, outcome of this. So you start <laughs> like sh uh, try to grapple him, hold him. He resisted. It's like more of a brawl fight at, at the moment, and nothing is resolved. Lysander. Um, I go for the count once again. Uh, the count. Okay, that is is tied up. So you have automatically hit. No, uh, d didn't I destroy the Baron? Yes, the Baron wasn't tied up. The Count is. Oh, beautiful. Uh, well, let's just fuck everyone, why don't we? Mm. He had a plan tonight. So. Uh, Might as well use it. Six, uh, uh, and he's tied up, so I... Uh, yeah, automatically yeah. crit. Oh, I mean, uh, if, no, it's not unconscious. You hit so. automatically hit. Uh, automatically. Yeah, we're both hit. recording. Yeah, <laughs> Do I need to uh, roll for no? no. Just damage. No. Beautiful. Just then uh, uh, it's a seven and it's an eleven. Seven eleven. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Seven eleven. Like the quickie mark. And I, I and I go. Is, is the marriage still on? I'm. I'm. I. I don't really understand the vibe of this. Um, oh. Jen. I tackle my grandfather carefully and try to piggyback Rodeo uh, tie him up. You to tie him up. You have to grapple him first. I'm trying to grapple him then. Strength. Thirteen. What's with these rolls? I rolled a six again. Oh my god. So you, being between you and Leo, trying to grapple him, you go and <laughs> squeeze both of them. Um, he's tangled so he can't fight, and you grapple him. Now he's grappled. Tie him up. In the next action. Yes. Uh, vamps. So he will try to break off the, out of the grapple. He's cocked. Um, strength save. You can do it. Isn't it both of you? 14. Well, I didn't do 14. it. 14. Unfortunately, he escapes with a 16 as he uh, pushes uh, your arms and gets out of the grapple and um, prepares to attack you. Uh, he's gonna make a life drain attack. Uh, for a total of 28. Uh, two hits, two hits. I'm joking. <laughs> two hits. And now I need a lot of detents. Um, detention. Detention. I hope you roll only once. Not that good, though. What is this, a strip club? It's a, it's a 15 necrotic damage. 
and he regained. It's okay. So f- <laughs> fifteen necrotic damage as he um, claws into your blood, and the blood that he gets in contact with starts to blacken and dra- gets dragged inside through his fingernails. Ah, stop it, Papa! <laughs> no, that's incestuous. <laughs> How can you drain my uh, your own blood? And the second attack, he from as as he drinks and he has his mouth full of dark liquid blood, <clears throat> darkness is spilled out outside of his his core and around him. Five feet. This includes you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you make a Constitution saving throw. Wow. Well, Wait, that's... I have to take a moment. Oh, Constitution God. saving throw. <laughs> How much is it? What the con, con save? Con save. Fourteen. Fourteen. You Eight. fail. As both of you fail, as darkness envelops you, envelop your 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 eyesight, and you can't see. Starting from the uh, the corner of your eyes, and everything gets darkened and blurred, and <laughs> you're blinded. Ah, uh, cool. All of us. Both of you. This clan concludes his actions. Um, however, Lady Seraphine gets passed over here. Um, no, I think here it's easier. Gets fast over here and uses a whole round to move. And she says, who has legs and runs very fast? <laughs> <laughs> no, the answer is all of us. Uh, and as she read the read these one one claw herself. Um, so uh, inside the little well, we is, is, is not seen, darkness. but so however so the count retaliates with one. Uh, with one rapier attack, he tries to hit you, Lysander. Oh no, he's tied up. Never mind. He will try to escape. And I rolled a five. Okay. So he's he's trying to escape. This alerts you that he's trying to escape. Ding, 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 like try small bells um, announce you this. Oh my god. Uh, he'll get uh, an opportunity attack is a reaction, right? Yes. He'll get uh, five points of uh, piercing damage. Sexy damage. As I go, maybe for Jen I'm not the one, but tonight I will definitely penetrate someone. <laughs> um, I am darkness. Nobody knows this is I'm missing. Like, yeah, yeah. Katie's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, You're not this helping, happens guys. A lot, the, this happens a lot m- the the action happens a lot more faster than in yeah than what yeah, happens with me yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I know I know cool um, so these are all of the vamps you still can see contest is sold to the torn what 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 you can see the contest the the one with the French accent the one with the beautiful dress mm. so he created a ball of darkness no you this. can't see her from the beginning of the battle mm. it's she's not here <laughs> just, <laughs> just a note okay. um, now she's after you. Um, oh, no. So you're blinded. I'm not into it was everyone. Leo. Um, as he does the not elf is see, still. <coughs> as Clap. he does not see, um, hoping this would work, and he just cries, "Lady of the Moon, Keeper of Light, hear my plea and aid our sight." I don't know. Maybe roll a religion. Maybe yes. You, yes. 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 Uh, yes. Roll me a religion. If it's above a. 19, something good, good will happen. If it's an 18, something okay will happen. No? Uh, we need to see what's on my Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an 8. So with an 8, uh, you start reaching towards the Lady of the Moon and you hear, Leo, I... You feel the magic of the castle is, is talking at you. Um, Can I say that I use my bonus action to do that and as an action help Jen? Oh, definitely. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, help, like help Jen. How do you want to help Jen? I just um, trying to, whenever I, because it's all about feeling and... Oh, so you ate her. In yeah, yeah when, whatever she does, maybe with the rope, I feel the rope and I work together. Lysander. We're going to be a team from now on. 
You don't lose advantage, Jen, from now on. With the oh. Uh, Jen, Jen, not you. Oh. Uh, you don't have a Leo of your own yeah. yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> uh, seven. I yeah. count the count, but I don't count the con countess. Where is she? Uh, She's unaccounted this... for. Oh. Oh. Oh, Inspiration. Nice. This is why we're meant to be together, Jen. <laughs> you see, we complete each other. You complete me. We finish each other's sandwiches. And of course, I just go like this and uh, attack the count for uh, uh, seven and automatically hits. Uh, seven and eight. That's fifteen uh, piercing damage. Slashing, slashing. Slash me. Uh, okay, slay, 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 slay girl, slay, slay. Okay, he looks uh, bloodied as he starts dripping uh, from his uh, um, vocal cords, blood and spewing, and he tries to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um. Jen, uh, I will use my bonus action to second wind myself. <laughs> Therefore, regaining a total of three HP. Amazing! Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Amazing! Excellent! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, and additionally, uh, I will use my action to yell at my grandfather and say, "Give me my bloody blood back!" and bite him. I don't know, feel around if I find him, bite him, and drain him of life, of my blood, with advantage. I just hold him. I can have to do that too. <laughs> um, I believe blindness gives you disadvantage, mm -hmm. automatically yep. fail on any ability that you okay. rely on, sir, and disadvantage on attacks against creatures, so it's a normal roll because you have advantage from Lilio. And, and I have advantage because I'm, ha I'm under half of my health to attack. Okay, with so it's with advantage. It's not no normal roll. Why? Because I have two advantages and one disadvantage. Okay. I don't know how you I... roll it if you want to keep it straight or. Vampiric bite. Okay, it's a with an advantage. It's okay. 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 this. Ten. <laughs> Miss. Second one. You try eight, to eighteen to feel your grandfather. <laughs> you know, she rolled an eighteen. Oh, oh. no, 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 it, no! It was eighteen because I rolled with advantage. So eighteen for the first bite. Uh, hits. Hits, and for the second bite, wow, it's twenty a lot, twenty five. Yes, hits both of them. So I regain. I drink <coughs> them of. This is a family thing. Yes, families are draining. Yes. Take blood. A 14. Take a 14. Health and a, a, a blood piercing damage. The and I regain 14. <laughs> yeah. uh, cool. Um, now is the vamps. Do you end your turn? I end my turn. Whenever you say the vamps, I think yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, 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 I'm still holding with my fangs deeply pierced in his muscle tissue. I'm glad I don't see this. So the first one is Mr. Fang, your grandfather, Henry, that tries to bite you bite you as well. My old boss. Um, Family trauma. I rolled a two. We all have it. Uh, now, since you ended your turn, your next turn, you're no longer blinded. Yeah. Um... Both of the attacks fail. I don't know why I rolled so bad. I have to change it's the It's nothing with the rolls. Everybody's rolling low. I it's rolled poorly. Done. You rolled good. Yeah. I'm okay. It's um, Katrina. So Actually. he tries to, to <laughs> grab you and bite you, and he gets surprised by the fact you're no longer blinded. He aimed poorly, and now he's surprised by the betrayal of Seraphine, and he sort of says, what are you doing here, you foul wind who should have uh, kicked you out of the family? Ages ago, you shall die. And she, he turns his last attack against her. It's a one, uh, but he he trembles by the fact that his love is missing, and he's she's caught in, inside of a coffin, and he's desperate. But think, think of it. If they are together in the coffin, there's gonna be so little space, a lot of friction. He's gonna love it. Um, put him the in count the no. tries to escape again. Let's the bells alert. I um 
If I, I, I'd like to try to decapitate him, should I do that on my turn? You, <coughs> yes, definitely. You yeah. can't use that. Okay, then action. I'll just uh, do eight points of uh, slashing damage. Okay. Sit still. Uh, eight, eight points of slashing damage, and he's gonna try to escape. Unfortunately, it's a, I oh, know, it's a nineteen, because he has plus five. So he rips the thing with the, the the bells and he he get, he busts it open. But he used all of his actions. He busted them. <laughs> Damn it. Next is Lady Seraphine. Uh, he turns, touches Henry, and sort of this ice tries to creep on his his arm and forearm and turn him into into to to. to to ice, he gets a lot of uh, ice damage. Okay, uh, he gets twenty-five points of uh, cold Oof. damage. I yell, "Don't kill him!" Um, she says, who, "Who is ancient and cannot die, but uh, are uh, disgusted by the sun?" Vampires. <laughs> oh, it's a simple one. Um, as he gets this damage, uh, her next uh, thing is to cast Hold Monster on him, on Henry, and he rolled a seven. So oh God, he's, he's now stubborn. being held. Oh as God. she says, everybody who has four two legs and are not vampires and must run now <laughs> and she would hold the monster she starts uh, uh running on the hallway and she says after me uh going next to the day's elf then start clapping um <laughs> yay <Yeah. laughs> um, <laughs> these are all of them Apart from uh, uh, Leo, so we are you're no longer uh, blinded because you also blinded, ended your blindness oh last turn. Are we running? Uh, I'm uh, um, holding uh, firm um, uh, close to Jen. I'm not running right now. Uh, if I hold, uh, I hold uh, hey. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ashley. It's crazy today. Um, I, Leo, will hold his action to help Jen in whatever she's doing, and if she's running, he will run. Okay, so you hold hold your action and do exactly what Jen does. Tells me to, like yes. a good happy. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Lysander. I, I go. I go for the count. Nobody's listening to anybody. But <laughs> run. What? No, no that's not going to happen. With my busted knee, great. <laughs> You've lived quite enough, sir. And the fourth, <laughs> the first one is... You have advantage, Val, of an immunity and an immunity. Oh. Yeah, great. don't forget about that. Um, 20, dirty 20. Hits. This is below the belt. For <laughs> nine points of classical damage, and the second one misses. <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Uh, he looks uh, very bloody. He starts um, oozing this thick, dark blood from all of the spores uh, and his skin and wounds. What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, I need to take a bath are... again. I'm probably f full of blood. Oh yeah, it's, uh, that no. tissue is gone. I mean, uh, no. uh, cool. Um, this is terrible, you guys. <laughs> you managed to turn the dire situation into a happy one. Sorry. Blame it on the bus, not on us. So, half, you've quite finished that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm yet. almost there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm almost there. Not yet. <laughs> this is what happens with the Hold on. Hold, hold on until the lady is finished as well. well I'm going to hold for an action. No. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, no um, but I will. I will <laughs> inspire myself as I say. You've lived quite enough, uh, and I will have a. You cannot inspire yourself. Don't inspire yourself. Uh, D six. Cannot inspire myself. No. 
Then I will inspire Jen. <laughs> Thank you. Fluff. <laughs> As I said, the situation. <laughs> I'm inspired. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, Jen, to please. race to the occasion myself. Oh my god. It's your turn, Jen. Race to the occasion. I'm gonna run. I will aid the Jen in running. <laughs> so you start running. In which direction? To fo- follow her, like she said. Okay. Um, um, then I'm going with. Guys, we're and, winning! And as, as we're running, I will say, Where is my father? Um, Take me to him. Oh, provide me with instructions. Where is your father, you ask? The castle knows best. That's actually a good uh, real-time rhyme. Good job. Thank you. Um, it's a partial rhyme. Hey. Um, <laughs> uh, Jen, you start running. Uh, now is the vamps. Um, <clears throat> she exits. You exit with her. Uh, the last one is uh, the count, who's the other one is help. The count who's gonna do a, a jolly roar, aid oh, oh. itself in the next attack, and then tries to move for uh, to twenty feet and then lunge forward. You get advantage. You get the opportunity attack as he moves. Do I still have advantage? Uh, yes. Because he, if he, you have the vow, uh, the vow. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, that's a twenty-two. Ooh. <coughs> twenty-two hits. <coughs> yes, and um, it's uh, seven points of slashing damage. Okay. He looks terrible, but he, with with the bloody tall face and blood spewing from his nostrils, eyes, mouth, he tr- starts charging at you. Uh, and do with this advantage because he has a busted knee. And you're uh, right. And and I also have uh, I still have he just protection from evil and good. Uh, you cannot be frightened. Mm-hmm. But it is not a frightened. I rolled a twenty and a you're welcome. Six. Uh, with the busted knees, he tries to run and tries to hit you uh, for a total of fourteen. I assume that misses. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a uh, nineteen. Okay. Uh, so he tries to hit you with his rapier, and his knees fumble, and uh, the thunder damage <laughs> goes through the rapier next to your ear. And this concludes its turn. Aha! Um, protection from evil and good also gives this disadvantage to undead and fiends. Excellent. Obscure all night creatures. You mean to say? Um, and this concludes the vamp's turn. <laughs> Uh, Leo, as you move for out, this is your next round. You all three move in the same time. Yeah, and I turn towards our friend and said, "Come now, it's a, not a fight. We have to win." As I said, I'm almost there. I can't uh-huh. do it on command. Uh, as you exit, do you guys exit? When I inside. yeah, okay. As you guys exit, exit, I can help you come to. As you guys exit, <laughs> uh, give me a. Uh, D6. Uh, hey. Oh, here we go, everybody. Hey. Four. <gasps> one, one four. of you. It's a four. Hey. 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 I so, think I hit a four. Um, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> the um, castle turns into a maze of horrors, and you feel flee this long corridor, and uh, you feel... You feel Henry's gaze at your heels, uh, noting where you you went, and the holes shift to left and right, and doors <laughs> slam shut, and portraits wind and twist in grotesque forms. And you see a door, you open it, and you end up in the a banquet hallway. And we're gonna take a break. Oh, oh my God, we're back. Oh yeah, because we came back again. for him. Like and subscribe, dear viewer. Like and subscribe. Not that I wish to imply you've been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a break than viewers. But all our efforts on this channel would have gone to waste. Unless, well, let's just say your moment to like our videos has come again.
the right viewer in the right place can make all the difference in the world. So subscribe, dear viewer. Subscribe and grow this channel. We are back with um, Leo and Jen and Lady Seraphine entering uh, the same banquet hallway as uh, they couldn't make their way through the castle. What do you guys do? Leo. Just let's uh, um, Thread of light, thread of feet, Lady. Please help me see the path. It's, uh, I'm asking again help from religion. I don't, know, hopefully. I don't know. What else can I do? I'm just a man. Yeah, that's <coughs> it again. I don't uh, you start here. Leo! Leo! <laughs> Muffled. Back to Lysander. What do you do? Lysander continues attacking the count. The uh, cunt! The cunt! <laughs> and it's a 22. Hits! Uh, five points of slashing damage. And the second one is a, also a 22. With eight points of slashing damage. He's almost there. He's almost there. Like, he, pieces of him fall off and they start to like fizzle and transform into the same shadow <coughs> that rise above. Die! Uh, <coughs> Jen, um, I'm gonna go through the other door with the intention of finding my father. Clear in my mind, passing. Okay. Passing around and in my final step of movement to go through the door, like. Give me an arcana. 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 Natural one. Uh, arcana. give me a d6. Arcana. I'm so you, you you try to uh, focus and channel your um, is a zero <laughs> your feelings and your uh, essence and your magic uh, the gifts from Lumeno you can't discern it you give me a d6 uh, obscuro 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 give me a d6 same same <laughs> sure. Before uh, you go again through oh the God. hallways and they twist and turn and uh, there's uh, <coughs> sounds of footsteps and you go through a door, a different door, a brass one and you open and it's the same bank at home. On that side or on this side? On that side. So I go through here and come back through yeah. here again. That's dope. I, I just realized that I could have went through the hallway anyway even if... Um, but the vamps are here. Oh, no. With their new song hit, I will suck off you off. Um, <laughs> I will suck you off. With disadvantage, you're gonna try to run again. You take a opportunity attack. Of course. Ha uh, lad, I'm coming for you in the... After this, don't worry. Not before taking four points of slashing damage. Um... Almost there, almost there. <laughs> As he, he tries to, to run. With this disadvantage. This is edging you. at this point. It's terrible. Or wonderful. Eight. I assume it doesn't hit. No. He, he tries and he stumbles as his knees are falling and oh turning into to mist. Oh. And he, he stumbles in front of you. Uh, not being able to hit. Um, ah, he also gets a D6. It's a 10 in total, it doesn't matter. Man, these drops um, are crazy. Do you by any chance have a change of clothes? What? <laughs> you can still his clothes after. I will <laughs> give you a change of clothes if you stop them. Stop them? I'll stop you from breathing. <laughs> <laughs> then good luck, you look ridiculous in that apron. <gasps> Psychic damage. Um, vicious mockery. <laughs> that's a vicious mockery. Vicious mockery. Oh, excellent. So hold the monster. Uh, it's one action up to one minute. It's better than the wisdom saving throw. He fails it again oh my God. as Henry is unable to sort of move. Um, 
let draw moustache on him. <laughs> Uh, and Seraphine says, Come on, what is strong in your hearts, but in your mouths and in your minds? Do it and go for the doors! Uh, Leo, your turn. What is strong in our... It's Will! <laughs> um, I, uh, Leo... My uh, name is Leo, not Will. <laughs> <laughs> um, he uh, looks at Jen and says, I will go and find Kate and then run the view with you. Uh, and I will myself to find Kate. Give me an arcana. Or a perception. I don't want to roll anything anymore. You picked the wrong game then. It's <laughs> 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 not just theater, guys. Do it for me. Yeah! <gasps> how, how much is it? That's an... Uh, 23. Okay, uh, where do you want to go? Uh, 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 Kate, I'm willing myself to be. Okay. Um, you reach <laughs> a trophy room uh, with a familiar looking uh, basin. It sort of looks like uh, the pool that's inside of the Lunai Chapel. And then um, at the other end, um, after this shimmering basin, there's uh, this um, a drawer that's opened, and in front of it, it's Kate, uh, sort of clutching her her arms and talking to what you what what do you say? Uh, talking to my my other self. Uh, I think right when we last left off, uh, all these doubts started creeping within me, because although I had this fond memory of of Blaze, we didn't really keep in touch after everything that's happened in, in Greenspring, and I, I kept trying to maybe, I don't not necessarily kid myself, but remind myself but that he's been also been through a tragedy, and this is not about me. I shouldn't make this about myself, but I do feel lonely and I would love to get in touch with him, but I was scared that I would be rejected and I had all of these mixed feel feelings. Um, um, give me a wisdom saving throw. No. <laughs> As Leo, you give me a nature to see what is this. It's just about how you hit the dice. It's eight. a 12. For me. So it's a twelve. You you start rationalizing it, but it's not rational. Ra <laughs> it's not <laughs> rational, rational thoughts that that you need right now. You need something that's strong enough to drag you out of this misering feeling. You need laughter. You need joy. You need a strong emotion. Leo. Uh, twenty. With the natural twenty, you know what is this called? It's called the fear shade. You see it by its creeping shadows at, at the middle. You see it by in close proximity to the drawer. It's a shape-shifting shadow made by Obscuro, and it uh, manifests into someone's um, fear. And the only thing that can stop it is laughter. <clears throat> Do I still have my action, or was the action to find the room? Um, you still have your action. You're not in. I'm not gonna like treat it like a combat, since you're out of it. Just Lysander is in combat. You know that in other cultures, they're called bogarts. <laughs> With a twenty-three, what was it? Bogarts. <laughs> Why does that sound ridiculous um, to you? Looks uh, at um, a case, uh, starts to get closer, and says, Why did the Raven join the Bard's band? <laughs> I. Uh, that is your show. I'm, I'm startled uh, because I'm, I'm way too focused on myself, <laughs> basically. That's kind of self centered. Um, and I, I, I turn to you. You see my eyes glistening and just... Leah. Come on. What's the answer? Why did the Raven join the Bars band? And I see uh, Dick's 
a tear off your eyes, he says, because you thought that tools were uncommonly good. <laughs> Uh, you, 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 you smile weakly, and you give me another wisdom saving throw with advantage. Caw! 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 It's a 16. Uh, 16 is enough to meet the threshold as you start laughing weakly, uh, the Kate and the, and the visage that you've seen in, in the shadows, painted in the shadows, starts visibly also cackling a little bit, laughing. <laughs> I, um, uh, I respond to, to Leo, um, well, if they lose their voice, they can always get some Half drops. Oh my god. <laughs> you both start uh, laughing and the, and the thing sort of pops into a shadows and goes in front of Leo with a wisp oh. and the shadow moves, moves, turns, swifts and goes back into the drawer, <laughs> closing the, the door. Welcome back. Is this because he has no fear? Maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're the bogus The only one who could have saved me. Jesus. Eh. I'm, uh... He doesn't you here. here. Really? Thank and you. He extends his hand. <laughs> I just plop myself <laughs> into his arms and just linger oh there for a god. moment. Hey, I was distraught, okay? <laughs> Where were you, find though? Them all. You're cool, you're but I, find them I know. <laughs> yeah. No bickering. Um, he just gets all of them. I, um... When I notice I, I sat there too long, I just uh, pull aside kind of awkwardly and say, um... Did you see the basin? I reckon... It, it looks really familiar. I think I've seen this in the Midnight Chapel. Mm -hmm. And I think if we try to fill this with water, maybe we can get back. And maybe it's our way out. Like Wait, where are the others? Why are you the only one here? Um, well, funny story. Ha ha, uh, funny or ha -ha, <laughs> not, not funny. quite ha ha funny? Uh, we had a family issue and uh, Jen the is... The whole family <coughs> is the issue. It is a red flag. Um, Jen is trying to find uh, her father. And I uh, went to help you. I think we can start filling the pool with water while we wait for them. And if they don't come, we can go and help them. Okay. Uh, do you think Jen's going to be alright? Is I... she alone? Uh, no. I hope not. <laughs> You hope? Oh, okay, that's very reassuring. Um, sorry, the snark. Uh, do we see any containers of water or anything, any taps? Perception. Any... Perception, okay. Wow! It's wow. a 19 plus 6 is a 25. Uh, you roll, you, you, you go through the chamber and turn and twist and look in, in all of the drawers, apart from the one that uh, the fear shape Mark it with the next. Um, <laughs> and you find nothing. Nothing liquidy. Um, then uh, Leo will... Um, usually this helps. Um, he will put in a praying position and start closing his eyes and saying a prayer that he has to Lunai and the light that vanishes the shadow, yet shadows it creates, because sometimes you need shadow to protect you from the blinding light, and <clears throat> just living on to fate what Leo understood after so many years, that sometimes a man can do so much, and sometimes he needs to let his burdens on, or share his burdens with others, and the moment of the prayer, when he says that, he says out loud, so Kate can hear, for some burdens are not meant to be shared alone. Or even if we think we are alone, we are never. And he just stands there in prayer, hoping that... Religion check. I, I want to sit next to him and maybe grab him by the hand and try to do this together. Just give advantage. advantage, yeah. 
uh, it's good because I have really trend. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, 17 total. So a total of 17, you hear Punani's voice weaken from, like it's shouting from a distance. Leo, Leo, Leo. Good, I, I hear you, I hear your prayer. Um, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, you, could, you could fill it with water? Okay, I, I was... I'm not, I'm not Saturni, I, I don't have conjure water or whatever. Uh, Leo, Leo, okay. Leo. Okay. Hold on, hold on tight, protect my, my champions, champions, champions. All four of them. Um, and as you hear this, you, we go back to the battle with uh, Lysander. <laughs> I will carve you up. Lysander is, uh, is, is being edgy. It is but a scratch. <laughs> We're gonna go through theater of the mind. Lysander, what are you doing? And now is the moment to, because it can show better. Yeah. Is there show or not in the world? Um, Lysander, what do you do? As my dick flops in the wind. Um, oh, I, it's floppy, come on. Uh, um, I am darkness! <laughs> <laughs> From uh, the backpack. I attack him ferociously, not before saying, what does the bard do? What? Who knows what the bard thinks? Immortality count is only for weaklings. <laughs> I should definitely say these after the yeah. roll. Yeah. Uh, 12 to hit on the first attack and a natural 20 oh. on the second. Okay, natural nice. 20, go! It's an extra hard Go, attack. go! Uh, 9. 9. And a uh, 10. Uh, 19. So with uh, 19 damage, you... And you have a rapier, right? Not a no, sword. a long sword. A long sword. Ah, oh, even better. With a long sword, you cut his head off, and you uh, 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 get him by his pretty long brown uh, hair, and you Come see on. his golden eyes and the last ha ha. Uh, as you rip his head off, the body sort of um, breaks into shadowy figures that start floating and going through the corridors like mists. But you remain with the head that uh, decomposes slower and you hold it victorious as it... For you, Jen! It's uh, just... I did it! All naked and full of blood. No clap. Um, should I should should we keep this? Is this like a heart that you had earlier? Um, I think it vanishes. Jen, what do you do? Uh, I go back and I make an obscuro sign on my forehead and say, "Father, I come to save you now." And I muster all my will as I, as I roll a will me up. Seven. Oh my God. Arcana, seven. And you roll me a d6. Or you said perception for him. A uh, perception, give me a perception. Yes, that, that, wait, wait, perception. perception. That is uh, 16. Okay, with a 16. I roll a d6. You roll twice a d6. And you pick whatever roll you want. So not a four. I rolled a five and a four. I will pick five. Um, okay, give me a d12. Ten. It's a nine, plus <laughs> one. You go, uh, not with Serafina alone, right? Serafina was there, and we manifested on the other side. But this <coughs> time you go on, long, on a long corridor by yourself. You didn't mention you take Serafina with it. And you see like long <coughs> alcoves. And uh, you see a small door in the distance. You think you wouldn't fit, but it gets bigger and bigger and you <sighs> lunge through it. And um, you enter in an empty black room. Um, it's empty. And no dark. doors. 
it's black, not dark. You can see it. You can see its edges. You can see its stone. And give me a perception as you start hearing. Dirty twenty. Faint whispers. Um, and with the dirty twenty, you hear. Save, 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 save my brother, Vim, 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 fundamental of Vim, Vim, Vim. Save my brother, grandfather, save my brother, save him, his body's broken. Save, 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 save him, save him. Save Vim or him? This is what you hear. Okay, sure, I will save him, where's my father? Give me a uh, constitution saving throw now. Nine. You start seeing things. Eyes, many eyes, then mouths. You go into sort of a vivid dream, a hallucination, as your hands prolong and extend like a corridor through a door and a door and a door inside the door. And you see two little boys going out to play. Cut. Someone crying, cut, a body, cut, save, save, save my brother, save it again, long, long hands, you're back in the room. Oh my god. your brother. Where Constitution saving throw. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're having a seizure. 14. Seizure yourself. <sighs> Your hands extend, inside of your palm you see a door, you open the door, inside of the door you see someone, a little boy, the same boy, with a stern face that say, I forsake my soul, he has taken it, vim, 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 <laughs> doors after doors after doors after those doors close inside of your face and you're back inside the room with faint whispers hearing and you, you see a door manifesting I'm gonna open the door give me a d uh d6 four not four again with the four you open the door and you're in the same black room with whispers hearing Brother, 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 save, 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 save I'm him. I'm saving him, where is Vim. him? Constitution saving throw. My salvate. Seven. Um, you now take seven psychic damage as you see eyes opening inside many eyes you see a pupil a pupil that's dilated and you see someone's body is the same boy but not the same boy i try to grab him you don't have hands with and, my will and soul and magic as you try to to grab him you try to extend towards him feel its edges and the boy doesn't have arms he's mangled he doesn't have bones, like all the bones have been extracted for him. He's just skin and a pumping heart. <laughs> you know the prayer of enduring that I cast usually? I try to master the same energy towards him. Uh, as you try to master, give me a religion. Then. Uh, you try to manifest, but you don't have a body. And you try to bring, you're an anchor, your body uses it when you cast, you're an anchor, but it feels like in your, it's, you're in someone else's universe, in someone else's body, in someone else's place, you can't manifest through that. You're a co-pilot. And as you try to do that, you're back inside the room with a small uh, brass door, and you hear, Vim, 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 Vim. Vim, Vim, save him, Vim, Vim. I open the brass door with intention to save somebody, either my father or this child. Uh, give me an arcana. Or perception. Child and one or already arcana, made. arcana. He's already or. a bangle of skin. One. Oh uh, give God. me a d6. You have inspiration. I you used, I used oh, it. Four. <laughs> you come back and you someone kiss my no. guy. You come back into the same room. Yes. 
And it's a puzzle. I must do this. It's and I start patting all the walls and saying, I will save you, no. little one. Is the role of the dice? <laughs> yes. If I engage in this yes. conversation again, you give me a constitution saving. Throw. This time I will pull a natural seven. <laughs> That's five. Oh Twelve. This time oh you take... Oh my God. 12 psychic damage. Uh, as you see an old man um, with sort of same brown hazelnut eyes as the, the boy before, it's old and you see it's it's human, but not like other humans. It has more of a depth um, in, in, in skin and in, in texture he has. Sadness in in his eyes. What happened? And he swallows you fully as you see pain, physically pain, enveloping you in darkness and light and tries to target your soul and rip you into you. You see eyes and mouths and light and darkness and another door manifests as you take extra six psyche damage. Can you stop and just roll well? I'm trying. <laughs> Is he the boy or his the bro- the boy's brother? It's an old man with the same color. So they were twins, I think. This is your series. Uh, I see a door, no? Yes. I try to get out. Again. Uh, you can use... Blow on it. <laughs> It's your expertise. Arcana oh or perception for the d20? 11 perception. Okay, you roll me a d6. A 5 it was. For a 5, you roll me a d12. <laughs> oh my god. Is Jen okay? Yeah, she's fine. Two. Is she oh, alone? No, no. No, no. no, you're not alone when you're with. Can you reach? a cold, damp room where the scent of blood and rust lingers. You see old torture devices like iron maidens and racks and chains fill up the space with blood pools all over. Before anything hits me, I uncork two sanglants éclatant with a a symmetrical pop uh, and pour them into my mouth as I I don't want to die. (laughs) Um, <laughs> as you are in the torture chamber and think what you do next, there's nothing apart from the devices and maybe seven or eight blood pools on the floor and another door on the other side. We go back to Lysander. Let's go. What do you do? Disappeared. <laughs> uh, I uh, I look around the room. Uh, there's uh, no. uh, there's Henry who is sort of in a loop and unable to move, um, and uh, still a uh, lady Seraphine that is it's almost ready to go on a hallway. Um, okay, I uh, I sheath my sword. Uh, I keep the head. Um, <laughs> Actually, I try to poke the eyes out. As you poke them out, you get two eyes that start immediately to transform into shadows as they're smaller pieces and sort of fizzle. Yeah. Is this from uh, the grandfather? Would be Not from the grandfather, from uh, the, the count. Okay, I'll, I'll just uh, take the head like this and I go towards the it, door. It fizzles. As you go towards the door, do you take Seraphim or do you go by yourself? Of course, my lady. And I extend her my arm. What is fast oh, and doesn't die? Him, me. me. Hopefully. Let's go. Give me a D6. <laughs> what comes once in a second and twice in a moment? Me. <laughs> Five. Uh... So with the what five, you give me a D a twelve. Oh no! Oh no! This is the toxic part. Seven. So with the seven, you reach a room. A black room. <laughs> that um, looks like a kitchen with long tables and a lot of food. Very generous. They look very appetizing from appetizing from cakes to to filled turkeys to mashed potatoes and 
the smell the smell is so divine and enticing your mouth waters instantaneously and on the other side there's another door what do you do um i believe we can eat later uh what do you say um what has fangs a tongue and doesn't like to eat like you you okay <laughs> <laughs> After, uh, but be eaten probably Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, we could make a pit stop. I mean, I, I I'm, 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 I'm already naked. Um, this is <laughs> not n- was not working for me, and we don't have a lot of time. I'm 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 sick of the riddles. Let's just go. I thought it was the heat of the moment. I uh, <laughs> just uh, usually so I'm really do? good with these things. Open the next door. Uh, D six. One. You uh, go and you see a maze, a maze of doors and long corridors, uh, and you you hear a cackling sound. I was gonna get you, uh, traitor, huh? And you recognize the the voice of uh, the vampire. Um, the the contest is sold, uh-huh. uh, and you see a shadowy figure, and you're in a corridor with a lot of other doors. Oh, but it's moments like uh, these. Uh, I try to go to the one in the middle. Okay, give me a d6. It's moments like these where uh, passion can really envelop us. I mean, uh, I've had uh, really memorable moments, but uh, I guess you're not in the mood. Three. Uh, With a three, you reach a room, sort of a grand chamber with drawers and a basin made of silver and a cake and a Leo who are watching and waiting. Ah, oh, Kate, my one true love. Well, the fairy is gone. Oh, no. <coughs> who, um, whose personality changes as fast as socks? Uh, his, I'm betting, right? All, all interests, is not Is he wearing socks? No, no. Oh, you're still uh, wearing my cape. Okay. Um, okay, listen up. No, I truly love you all. We are grateful for your adoring uh, nature, but you more bring, uh, the, the head is not there, it, it, it evaporates. So you you it have evaporated. the top head and the, the strains of hair. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Do you I, have I also, did it. Um, I did it. <laughs> you, know, Van, you know that... An, <laughs> what is the true nature of vampires after they die? Are they dead or are, are they not? Are not vampires immortal? Exactly. Um, yeah, they're not dead. I'm just pointing out that I defeated them. For <laughs> so now, it's very important I that you figure once. out what shall we do with the clan. Where is Jen? Uh, I don't know. She Here. went searching for her father. Oh no. So she's alone. Jen. You go finding her. Yes. You exit and you give me a d6. Oh no. Two. Can we. Uh, you're. Uh, Surprisingly, moments before you enter, you are in a damp room with torture devices and pools. What do you do? Pools of blood. I'm sniffing the air. Does any pool of blood smell like my father or uh, him being here? Uh, Perception. 14. As you start smelling, nothing smells necessarily familiar it's more human blood elven blood nothing dampiric nothing with that heavy of a scent and as you figure this out a door the other door opens that you want wanted to reach and it's lysander oh my gods um love <laughs> what they've done with the place i'd pick some different <coughs> furniture but are you almost ready um, I came for you, my love. I can't see, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, no, 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 no! It's that's not that. It's blood from your relatives. I, uh, I, you see. I, uh, it's not my relative. 
relatives. Well, that that would have made things complicated I for know. us. So uh, that's that's way better. So um, may I aid you in something? Maybe I need to find my some... father quickly. Of course, let's find your dad. Okay. You need the father. What? <laughs> it's that. I, I, you can call you me daddy. First, no. <laughs> No, no, so wrong on so I, many levels. It was, I just it was worth a shot. Okay. Um, so what does he look like? I'm really good with faces. Go. Like me, male, very frail, uh, and wild uh, hunger and thirst for blood in its eyes, no. and probably, hopefully, chained. Hmm. That's uh, quite interesting. Go on. Yeah, he was uh, so much it. paying attention. Oh, that, to oh, oh, I was. Uh, okay. Um. So, is he maybe in a pool of blood? No, he's no. not here. Let's go on another door. I'm really so good with doors. So, as we meet at the middle, uh, do you want to do something particular? Find a door. <laughs> okay, you go through the door and you go in a direct line. Everybody, give me a dexterity save. Okay. Two. Oh, Three? Okay. Yes. There are traps in the dungeon room. Big oh no. One. Natural 20, 25. Oh, really nice uh, how much, Lysander? Uh, what? Uh, did I, uh, D6? Dexterity. Oh, dexterity. Oh, of course. He's a big Dex, dex, dex. 14. Okay. Which is 10 in French. 14. So you instinctively <laughs> avoid the pools. You don't step on them. You're almost stepping on one, but you say you have a lot of you. You think you have a lot of blood on yourself already, mm -hmm. so you go around it. You. Yeah. I I try uh, try to open the door. As you open the door, give me a d6. Two. With a two. <laughs> you open the door, and on the other side, you see sort of a secret um, chamber opens behind the tapestry, behind the wall, wall that opens instinctively. You don't know how you did that. Um, and you reach... I'm also good with walls. You reach I can see that. That's somewhere a beyond or above the castle is a space, much like a chapel, um, with the signs of the blood moon as the same symbol that Eleonor pointed out at the beginning. Um, and you feel that this is the place where the boundaries <coughs> of the lake and the castle blend. Um, from above, you see through stained glass that's red, vivid red, uh, rays penetrating, and you see the lake and algae and fish beyond that. And inside, because of the stained glass and uh, of the light, the, the room turns into this like dark, vivid red coloration. And it's a vast chamber with a marble black shrine and illuminated by some, some eerie glows, you see signs of uh, the crescent moon and wolves, and sort of wolves that are taller and longer and elongated, that stand on two legs and two hinds, and you see um, uh, bats drawn, and uh, rats and ravens as well. And in one, one corner, you see six coffins, in the other, six alcoves with narrow um, entries, enough so it fits one place, one person. And on the far side, you hear a <laughs> and you see a feral looking creature with a pointed wild face um, and bloodshot eyes with reddish hair long fingernails that has like drips of blood everywhere chained to the wall and now that you think about it, it has jen's chin mm, it's your papa. am i there too yes i go and start crying papa i found you and stop uh at the edge where he can touch and harm me <coughs> as you try to stop and 
sort of gesture, a hug. He lunges forward and lunges an attack and sort of uh, it, it's get, it gets dragged by, uh, by, by chains. Uh, I still have a couple of vials of blood, so I put him in his mouth. <laughs> Very fairly, he licks it. He he eats it off the floor. He uh, starts I'm yelling, not... <laughs> Papa, it's me. I will make it all better, please. And I pull out of my bag. I start rummaging. You see a cast iron pan, some flour, a wooden spoon, like all this kitchen crap popping out. And you finally see a tapestry with, uh, with a grotesque scene depicting a human being drained by a vampire. And I take it, put it on the floor, and slide it gently under my father and try to push him. As you try to slide the, the tapestry under, he tugs with his chains to your to your fingertips and tries to <laughs> bite them. He looks manically like he's desperate for, for, for your flesh. And you give me a sleight of hand to see how you place that under his uh, feet. Then... It's a family matter. You don't step in family matters. 19. Uh, with a 19, you do the whole um, placing under, and with a swift, like a magician, you you pull it under his feet as he tries to do a, a jump to, to target your fingers, and you put it under, and he drops inside the tapestry. I quickly go in and chain the chain from the wall, like... Um, strength, as you try to rip it. I go and hold her. Uh, strength with advantage, as you also try to tug at the chains, because dangling from he, from the tapestry are, are two hands. And now you, that you drop them, you see the chains also dropping inside the tapestry. And as you look, you see, uh, top of view, <laughs> point of view, two hands bound and sort of like a vampire body that it's, it's pushing <laughs> in this direction, uh, two chains. Okay, I feel... Fill everything in, and I wrap the tapestry and put it in my backpack. Well, uh, how many problems do I need to still be solving to impress you people? I am impressed. Do you know what this chapelle is? This is, this is a horrible place. It gives me the creeps. What's with all the 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 the, 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 the those guys on the walls? I don't know. Must be a sign. Do, 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 can, can't you make any, anything of it? I know there's this goddess, Lunai, and that's a moon, so that is something to do with it. I close my eyes, put my hands together like in a prayer, such a thing, and think of Lunai somehow. And think. So you're not officially a follower of the Hebdomad, no. so you're only a religious <coughs> with disadvantage. Disadvantage. Well, not that bad, to be honest. 13. So with a 13, you don't know how to commune with Lunai. No. But with a 13, you gather the fact that uh, the blood moon is a phase of the moon um, in relation with other cosmic planes, probably other um, influences. And everything uh, depicted on the wall is somehow under it, under this patronage of the red moon, of the blood moon. It's about the phase of the moon. Huh? Are you a follower of uh, what? I am not, but it sort of follows me. Who's your true god? And I start, uh, you know, pulling pulling his, uh, I don't know, cloak and trying to look at your symbols on your armor. Or something. He doesn't have armor. He's... Yes, 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 he does. Yes, he, he has. Have... Ah, only pants. the armor. Okay. He doesn't okay. have pants. Doesn't have my cloak. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bondage moment. Okay. <laughs> um, you can see the sign of Sol. Sol. Soles. Sole. The the, 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 the sun god. The sun god. The sign of Solis. Yes. Solis. Yes. Sol. But uh, in his village, they call him Sol. Yeah, it's shorter. So Oh, okay. Oniva? And I point towards the door. I'm complicated, Jen. I don't know if 
think things could work out between us, actually. Oh, I'm so crushed. I, uh, I know. <laughs> uh, can you do the trick with the door so I won't be crushed and embarrassed further in this horrible, horrible room? That depends on what you can uh, do for me. I will end you. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, in the meanwhile, other room. Meanwhile, I was about to say. It. Meanwhile, in the other room, you are Spidey with sense. Seraphine and uh, Leo and Kate. That's a bit shaken after the after the moment with um, with the fear shade. My husband senses are tingling. What? We um, we need to fill. As you said, this with water. But where do we get water? Uh, maybe we can will ourselves to find a well. <laughs> and well, when we well, open well. the door. Uh, <laughs> I love you for this moment. I know. Um, I do. Sure, he nervous. can love her. It's it's very. I'm coming. <laughs> You're not in the same room, guys. <laughs> so, so. Um, <laughs> Thanks, um, Seraphine. Ready, Seraphim said, it's um, it's very important that. Um, we discuss what your next steps are. I think uh, the future of our clan lies with uh, Jen, and we need to discuss about this. What do you mean? I mean, you saw these people. They're gonna recuperate in, in, in a second. I'm pretty sure the Countess is after us, and she's gonna follow you guys. And you need to get somewhere to deal with that heart. Where's the heart of you? It's at... It's with Jen? Yes. Okay. Um, then uh, Leo's vision turns towards... Uh, Sarah... Seraphine. And what is your intentions for the clan? I understand that hatred and being pushed aside can... I'm, I'm intended to... What is... Uh, what, what lies in uh, the flowing of time? and is greater than men. Achievements. So, I am after that. I want to do my own thing. Okay. I want to do greater and better. As long as we can help each other or at least not get in each other's way. I was thinking exactly the same thing. But in the meantime, um, and uh, Leo goes closer to the uh, uh, door and says, I will try to find Jen and bring her back. Try to find a way to fill that with water. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep his hat up. Kate, tell me, what has cities, mountains, fortress, but no trees and rivers and no water? Cities. Cities, houses, fortresses, but no mountains, trees, or water. It's a green spring. Oh no, it's a map. Oh, god. You're stupid. <laughs> no, I already knew that. Jokes on you. So. We need the map. I have a map. Oh no, because he gave. She gave mm. us that map. I gave them that map. I, I no longer that. have that map. I, have <laughs> I know, I. I I don't know what you you talk what map you talk about. Is this a riddle? Ah. I just I'm just passing time. <coughs> ah, I thought you were talking that she has a map from. So what do you do, Leo? Is I, I she, the she, door. she yeah, keeps uh, <coughs> telling riddles? You bust through the door and you give me a d six. Bust through the door. Oh. Ah, three. Uh, with the three, the hallways twist. And turn, and you find the door, you open it, and you see Kate from behind talking with Seraphim and saying, And what barks at the sunset but doesn't uh, rhyme with uh, your heart? Choose desire. Okay, Lady Seraphim. This is annoying. <laughs> this is. I, I think I'm gonna fill that basin solely with my tears. <laughs> Either of boredom or just. 
plain annoyance. Does it have like a secret um, a button or do you see a valve or do I see, if we look up, do we see like a cavern with I want to investigate the, the basin closer to see if I can find anything. You mean investigation. <laughs> Leo is like, okay, try number two. <laughs> Uh, you go through to, through the same door? Yeah, why don't you specify in Jen? Why? Uh, yeah, and this just passes to the room. Yeah, I'm going. No, I'm going oh, back no. towards the room where I entered. I'll okay, D6. Mm. Back. It's what? an 8. So with an 8, you see that the basin is bone dry. Right. Um, Leo. That's correct assessment. How about 5? So with a 5... You roll me a d12. Roll me a d12. Why did you know that? Because she rolled the the, the most. So. Ten. On this maze. Two. Yeah. You it's French, you but... reach a cold damp room, uh, with uh, old uh, torture devices, oh. racks, and pools of blood. It smells like that. Um, can I uh, investigate uh, the room to see if the no? Um, <laughs> this is not the <laughs> <laughs> I by the whips. Um, I, I do my. Uh, I'm trying not to meta. Um, because it's a torture room and. <laughs> You see liquid though, there's a lot of pool, okay. there's a lot of blood okay. on the Okay, so the if floor. there's blood that means there's been pain, that means there should be, I will check for traps. Okay, uh, investigation. Because I am 49, 40 something years old and I know shit. 400, not 40. You wish. Uh, 14. 14. With a 14, you barely notice that the fact there's no traps mm -hmm. inside, but when you dip by accident your pinky inside of one of the pools, it stings and it turns a little bit black. Yeah. Okay, so I carefully maneuver inside the room as to not touch the blood. Key. And I go towards the other room and say, Come on, Jen, I need to find you. And he pushes through. D6. Do I have advantage? God, I'm a fiance. <laughs> <laughs> two. <laughs> so with a two, uh, I'm gonna tell you in a second one hap what happens as we move to your room and what do you want? A true love's kiss. Uh... I'm just kidding. Come on, get off here. You have no chance with me. You know, <laughs> I'm. Uh, I, I I I need to be wanted for it to work, and you clearly have no interest. So let me yeah, just I'm save awful. you all and get on with my yeah. life. Such poor company you keep. Oh no. And what do you do? Open a door. <laughs> I open the door. You open the door. <laughs> and as you open we the door... We accidentally touch hands. Oh. Me on top of him. Oh. Open as, the as you oh. touch hands and open the door, and you what? open the door touching hands, beyond the door, you see... You're gonna see next week what you're gonna see. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. Um, um, everyone for catching the finale of this episode. Uh, Thank you, um, uh, Fantasy Forge, for um, for our help with printing 3D minis. Thank you guys for reaching the episode. Don't forget, like, subscribe, 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 comment. It helps us a lot. Thank you guys for joining us. Remember, next week is gonna be a Halloween-ish episode. I hope it's gonna be more horror. Uh, and uh, if not, sorry, it's gonna be funny horror. So you know, you get the uh, uh, jiggly jig. Uh, Oh, no. So we're not gonna have an after dice episode. It's gonna be vim 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 vim, exactly like the whispers, whispers, whisper. Thank you. Good day. Good night. And don't let the vampires bite. Huzzah!